Right, I've just been up around the castle, decided to walk down under the archway. There's some steps there. There's so many walks I don't know which one to go on, but I thought this is quite a good view from here of the castle from this angle. There's a big archway under there. And then there's a very deep gorge here. Down there is very deep gorge. It almost looks like it's been carved out. It could be like a moat. I think it's a moat that goes right round the castle, or did at one point. It might be a natural stream, but it's been used as a part of the defence, I would say, definitely. You couldn't get up there easily. There's a bit more of the castle up there. I'm, I'm down in like a little glen here. There's several glens. Um, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a map. But they weave in and out. But I thought, I just, well, I heard the water. I'm sure people come down here. I just thought I'd do a little bit more of the video getting into the spirit of Rosalind Chapel and Castle, you see. I think it's, I don't know where they all come out, that's the trouble. This one seems to be leading back to the chapel more, I think, than the other one, but uh, who knows. You can hear the water, there's a quite a fast moving stream actually down there. Castle's up there and then along here somewhere there should be Roslyn Chapel. You should, might, we might even be able to see it but it's very wooded. It'd be nice if it came up near it wouldn't it? So that looks like it's got something carved on it, doesn't it? Keep that. I've already got a, one larger rock from the castle that was hanging loose. It was on the ground. What odd I'll go so far along here. This could take you anywhere, see? This one wasn't quite as well signposted. Yeah, there's the stream down there, see? Looks a bit more stagnant there, actually. And then I think there looks like the, to be like a waterfall. down there, it's rushing up again, so it's a bit stagnant there, and then it moves along a bit. So this is really me, I'm really doing this, you see. That's the idea of the video. That you can actually, but of course this might go for miles. It would be nice to think I could get out in a minute. So I'll go, I'll go for a bit further up to a clearing there. So I'm sure I looked over a wall and um, and you've got to get into the spirit of the place, haven't you? Imagine the, the declares or the Saint Clairs who come from Rolo, exactly like the others do, all related to William the Conqueror as well. And um, 
they they probably would have walked around these grounds. I mean, it might probably obviously wouldn't have looked like this. This track could have been down there. Nothing's going to be identical. Yeah, there's the stream bubbling away a lot quicker now. Just go down and have a little look a minute. I don't know what the name of this stream is. Yeah, or a river even. Yeah, it's much wider there, look. This is the river which would have acted as a type of moat as well around the castle and Roslyn Chapel making it a little bit harder to invade easily The chapel was going to be up there somewhere there's that great big oak tree just a pity there isn't a, another little path. I bet you there is. You imagine you turn back now and someone said, Oh, well, if you'd gone another 10 yards, you would have come up at the top. Yes, I can see some steps. Still doesn't mean, though, that I'm going to come out near the chapel, does it? But I can see some physical steps. Up. I'll stop in a minute anyway because I've still got to go back if, I, if this isn't uh, taking me back up then uh, I'll go back the way I come <sighs> we'll just go around one more corner is it taking us round? It looks like it. Might come out in the campsite. <laughs> right. Because I'm breathless. Oh. I'm going to actually turn off now. But there's bluebells and wild garlic here. Like there seems to be everywhere at the moment in Scotland. And ferns coming out. the sound of water and my heavy breathing I've done a lot of walking I haven't stopped actually we're going up so I this is a good sign hopefully it'll take us out close to the chapel because I feel like I've just done a loop round it over there and down round and I think I might be able to see it through those trees. But I'm breathless. So over and out everyone for now because I think I've got to whirl my way up round there. This is Sheila visiting Roslyn Chapel, site of the film The Da Vinci Code. Rich in history. Tied up to the, the St. Clairs who are also tied to my family and Rolo of a, a Viking warrior. Um, they fought with the St. Clairs here, or Sinclairs, whatever you want to call them, fought with Robert the Bruce. And uh, they eventually did lose their, their lands and everything over time. But the title still exists, I believe. They were also tied up with the Knights Templar. There's all that history and everything and religion the chapel itself is steeped in rich illustrations of history like the woman said people couldn't read and write so they carved it in stone and wood for them right that is definitely it